Now, I hope everyone in this room knows what that is. It's what many consider to be a fresh bag of salad, just like this. And how fresh can it really be? We rely on industrial farms thousands of miles away to grow food, process it, and ship it to us. Think about it. Most of the produce that you get, you've, everyone's had the experience where it's soggy, wilted, and yellow in just a few days. Now, researchers say we're detached from where our food comes from. And when most of us consider this to be fresh food, and just two in every hundred people work in agriculture, I think they might be right. This is me uh, on a tractor. I grew up on a family farm in the UK, and it was really fun at that age. But after a while, I realized that farming is actually a very challenging way of life, and like many, we were struggling to make ends meet. And I was pretty excited about joining the other 98% of people not farming. That was until I moved to the United States to study socially impactful businesses. And we were exploring ways to use new technology to help people feed themselves in some of the most challenging places on Earth. Like here, in Dabab refugee camp in northern Kenya. This is home to a quarter of a million people, and it's one of the most arid and in inhospitable places on Earth. Growing food here is simply not an option. And we were looking at what technologies could help people feed themselves, even in places like this. And that research also led me down the road to uncover just how broken our agricultural system is. The very system we rely on to feed ourselves results in 40% of fresh food going to waste before it reaches your plate. And yet 27 million people in the US live in food deserts where they simply can't get access to fresh food even if they wanted to. And this system uses 75% of our water and produces up to 25% of our emissions. It is a staggering contributor to climate change. And while there is no one-size-fits-all solution to this uh, humongous challenge, it is abundantly clear that we need new tools to help feed ourselves in a more resource-efficient way. One of those tools is the fascinating world of hydroponics. This is a method of growing plants in water instead of soil. It allows you to grow the plants faster, using up to 90% less water. There are no pesticides or chemicals, and you can even grow the plants indoors, so it's close to the consumer, and you can grow all year round. But when most people think of hydroponics, they think of commercial greenhouses, and these aren't new. They've been done by the Dutch for nearly 50 years. And with the latest advances in LED lighting and sensor technology, we've been able to start stacking these farms up vertically. And as exciting as they may be, these large-scale vertical farms are incredibly expensive, and they remain out of reach of the consumers, businesses, and communities that could benefit from them most. So we started looking at what would accessible vertical farming be like? Fast forward seven years of research and development, and it looks like this. Today, we manufacture some of the world's leading modular vertical farming systems. We call them micro farms. They're self-contained vertical farms that can allow anyone to be a successful farmer, regardless of their experience. We can allow them to grow fresh, sustainable produce at the touch of a button, all controlled from an app. All users have to do is insert pre-seeded pods, just like a coffee machine. The farm registers the barcode and administers a recipe so the plants get exactly what they need, and so you don't have to worry about it. Users can grow up to 50 varieties of salad greens, herbs, microgreens, and even flowers, all while we control the farms remotely. And by remotely managing the farms, we are administering the right conditions so that you have a safe, reliable, and convenient harvest every single time. We're collecting data on all aspects of the growing process so that we can improve our yields and ensure that we're delivering the best user experience possible. And the farms that we build are designed to blend form and function. They're designed to fit into the urban environment so that they can revitalize underutilized spaces turning them into green, vibrant, and productive farms. This is a new tool for farming, and we're just starting to see the exciting ways that it can be used. For example, this is Joe. We partner with his team at Goodwill in southeast Michigan, where the winters are long and the sub-zero temperatures make it hard to grow food. They're using the farms to develop a workforce training program where they're training a next generation of farmers, providing valuable skills while growing food in the dead of winter and delivering it to those that need it most. Further south, in San Antonio, Texas, we partnered with Casey at her school 
the temperatures can regularly hit 110 degrees outside, but they have a farm in the heart of their cafeteria. And we've developed a STEM education program with them, where students are able to get credit as interns to run the farm, teaching them valuable skills, while other teachers use the fact that they have plants growing from seed to harvest as a multidisciplinary educational tool, all while they harvest fresh produce into the salad bar. They're educating and inspiring a whole new generation of consumers, and they're even using social media to poll fellow students about what they should grow. So they're engaging the entire community. And the results have been pretty astonishing. Ever since we installed the farms, we literally have kids lining up for the salad bar. They, uh, they've, we, <laughs> we, um, we, we've started to just a whole new conversation around what it means to grow fresh and local food. People are asking, what plant is that? It doesn't look like that in the grocery store. How did it grow so quickly? When can I taste some? And it started a whole new conversation, and we're actually driving forward this conversation, and we're encouraging people to eat more plant-based and healthier diets. Now, these aren't the only ones. We started talking to the chefs at the US Olympic team, high up in the Rocky Mountains at their high-altitude training camp. We partnered with Team USA to develop a farm-to-table program where they can grow fresh produce and harvest it right there for the athletes because they know that nutrition is the bedrock of performance, so they're investing in having their own supply of ultra-high-quality ingredients grown on site. And in our most extreme installation yet, we partner with MSC Cruise Lines and a Michelin star chef. Somewhere out there on the seven seas, they have a farm that's growing fresh food, and they've created a unique dining experience called the Greenhouse. They have multiple farms growing fresh ingredients and harvesting them right onto the diner's plates. And all the while, they're not having to import the same amount of ingredients along their journey. So it's a new, sustainable dining experience that's better for consumers and better for the planet. Now, for all of these groups that are working with us, it's not just because we bring a new spin to the idea of farming. We're actually delivering a much higher quality product. Our produce doesn't spend weeks on the back of a truck dehydrating and decomposing. And we've had it independently verified that our produce is better for you. It is more nutrient dense, and that we're showing up across many of the micronutrients and vitamins to be much more uh, nutrient dense. For instance, like vitamin K and lutein, which is an antioxidant, it's essential for your eyes. We're growing better quality product that tastes better and it lasts longer. Now, we're not the only ones who think this is a good idea because regardless of what generation you're from, I hope we can all agree that we need to start growing food in a more resource efficient way. Fortunately, a lot of these tools exist today, and the tools I'm talking about don't involve telling people to eat their vegetables, we're showing them how. And when you show someone how, you can leave a lasting impression and actually shift their uh, perception of what it means to eat healthier and sustainable food. And we're driving forward this whole conversation around local sourcing and um, sustainable dining. Now, we're not the only ones doing this. Urban agriculture is popping up in all sorts of different shapes and sizes all around the US. In fact, Michelle Obama planted a White House kitchen garden a few years ago to start growing food right there at the White House. And we were recently recognized by the White House for our efforts to develop high-tech uh, and scalable indoor farming solutions that are manufactured right here in the United States. Because this movement is just beginning, and urban farming is gonna be a critical component of building sustainable uh, communities of the future. And we're scaling up. We've now deployed our farms in 35 states and five countries, and we're working with some of the leading companies in real estate, healthcare, education, and food service, where they're using these farms as a next generation amenity. The farms are revitalizing their buildings while providing fresh produce for their communities. And we're developing programs so that we can fit into their organizational needs and fulfill other uh, sustainability goals. And one of the benefits of working with us is that because we're remotely managing these farms, we have full traceability and accountability of the growing process, and we can actually track who's growing what and what's harvested. We can then compare that information to importing it from thousands of miles away and actually quantify our impact, which is critical to adoption of any new technology. And we can share that data with our clients and help them qualify for different sustainability accreditations and in some cases, they're even enhancing their property values in the process. Because the farms of tomorrow are gonna to look very different from the farms we know today. As we scale up this technology, our manufacturing costs are declining. 
as remote management and the modular systems get better, we're enabling a new generation of made-to-measure indoor farms. You're going to start seeing these indoor farms pop up in your local grocery store, where you're going to be able to harvest fresh produce into your shopping basket. Or even in your local restaurant, where they'll be growing some of their ingredients on site and harvesting it right onto your plate. Because with these new indoor farms, we're not just empowering businesses and communities to grow their own food. We're building a climate resilient supply chain that allows us to source locally, create jobs, uh, and ultimately educate consumers about healthier and sustainable food. And as we scale this up, we see a future where these farms even belong in people's homes, and maybe even one day in places like Davao Refugee Camp in Kenya. We're on a mission to make hydroponics as accessible as possible, and I think that's an idea worth sharing. Thank you.